right, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Ooh, a little too much of me in the picture there. <laughs> anyway, good morning. Thanks for being here. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're feeling well. Oh, I don't know how I feel yet. Let's get started. Spirit, may I have a daily message for spiritual growth? What message would you give us out of this book for spiritual growth? You don't have to share all of yourself. And the call is coming from inside the house. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. You don't have to share all of yourself. The call is coming from inside the house. Creepy. That's creepy. So, and my mom was telling me that the other day. She and I were having a talk about something. My hand's itching. There's some gold digging going on somewhere. She was saying, look, when it comes to that, you need to keep your mouth shut. That is none of their business. You don't have to share yourself with everybody. That's your personal stuff. And you keep that personal between you and the person that it needs to be kept between. Good advice. My mom always gives good advice. Anyway, so you heard it. The call is coming from inside the house. That's freaking creepy. <laughs> So somebody um, from inside the house is calling me. I don't know why they're calling me. <laughs> All right, what virtues are you working on, Spirit? Honesty and integrity. So somebody thinks you're not being honest. So somebody like created this fake profile or something to test your honesty and your integrity and they're calling you from this number but it's actually them somebody that's in your house that level of distrust mm -mm. no wouldn't be a part of my life i'm going to use the red deck all right spirit how are you working in the collective right now obviously they have trust issues how are you working in the collective A lot of cards, spirit. How are you working in the flame cube? Temperance came out. So we're having to temper our behavior. For some reason, our empress, our, our eminent, our empress, our feminine side is in reverse. When an empress is in reverse, they, they're not creative. They can be a bitch. They're, they're, it's not necessarily my hand's itching again. <coughs> an empress in reverse is usually an empress who doesn't have an emperor. And they have to make decisions just like if if they were an emperor. And so this is somebody who probably is having to be very strong because they don't have their emperor right now for some reason, for whatever reason. All right, I love these cards, the energy oracle cards. Spirit, show me what's going on with the collective. Why is our integrity our not, and our honesty being tested or not giving up as being gentle. Somebody is testing your integrity and your honesty. And it could be spirit. I don't know. The call is coming from inside the house. You know what temperance is. Temperance is like controlling yourself, being patient, being self-controlled as a Sagittarian energy. And this is a Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy. Alright, what does the collective need to know, Spirit? The door to romance came out sideways. 
with our stability, our stability. This came out sideways, so I'm going to read both interpretations of it, because for some it may be one way, and for some it may be the other. But we're looking at a door to romance here. Somebody's got some new love showing up, it looks like to me. But the person doesn't really trust you yet, for some reason. Alright, number 33. Door to Romance, New Beginnings in Love, Upright. Whether you're looking for a new relationship or just more love in the relationship you're in, the door with this door with a heart opens onto a new beginning in your experience. A new love may be arriving and you are being brought together by a strong, resonant connection. This may be a call from a past life, or it may be a new tenderness about to bloom into heartfelt affection. This relationship already exists in energetic potential. So when this card appears in your spread, make sure you are projecting the kind of self-loving energy that you want to receive from others. Be aware that the universe returns your self-caring treatment to you. It's ready to open that door. Are you ready for the door to open? <coughs> and then, if you read the reversal of it, it says, This card reversed indicates a delay or disappointment where love is concerned. In a present relationship, it could also be a sign of distance and separation for some. The door to love may seem to have been shut for a long time, but the energetic universe is, a, is always in a state of flow and flux. Knowing you can work on making changes in your daily life that will bring more love into your experience. Remember to make yourself and your own happiness a priority. Encourage yourself and always know and always acknowledge how valuable and deserving you are of re recovering or receiving your own love and that of others. Such choices in your attitude and in self-treatment will shift the old energy of self-demand changing your core, core consciousness and all that you attract. So tell the universe you're ready for that real love because you're finally willing to give it to yourself. So some of us are ready for it and some of us are almost ready for it. But we are learning to show self-love. Uh, we still have this problem of stability, though, that Archangel Michael is working on. But trust me, and I just got a new plant. Where did I put it? It's in my bedroom, but I got a money tree. And this money tree is going to flourish like you would not believe. Watch what I tell you. All right, number 30, 35, Archangel Michael says this. And he's in the upright. Michael holds a beautiful globe of red energy in his first chakra, which is located at the base of the spine. This is the place where you, your sense of stability and security are stored. When this card is upright, it reveals that your energy is flowing freely regarding these issues. Even if you've had problems with feeling insecure in the past, these challenges are beginning to be resolved at this time. Archangel Michael is with you, bringing you strength and personal stability. You are capable of taking action and moving, moving forward on your path. So allow yourself to feel increasingly faith in your own power and security now and always. So you're at a place where your security and stability are being built up and you're ready for romance it looks like 
Yeah, you're about ready to take action. Your heart chakra is opening. Somebody's about to make a move on somebody. All right, let's see what. Let's see how this happens. I'm gonna put these cards over here. We know that there's a doorway to romance opening. What kind of healing does the collective need, Spirit? Show me, please, what kind of healing the collective needs. Some of us have things that we need to let go of and saying what we mean. Remember, your throat chakra needs to be open, so you need to say what you mean and let go of something. Let go of something or someone. I'm not sure which. Let's find out how spirit's working today. Spirit, how are you working in our lives today? May I see, please? How are you working in, in the collective home life? I let go of all expectations. And I love life. So at home, you're letting go of your expectations and you're loving your life. All right. How about work life or career life? How are you working in your work life or career life? Wow. That was explosive energy. I prosper wherever I turn. Beautiful. I now create a wonderful new job. I'm <laughs> beautiful. No wonder it was explosive. Some of you have new jobs. And I claim my own power and I bring, I'm sorry, I claim my own power and I lovingly create my own reality. I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. Y'all are throwing down in the financial area. That is beautiful. That money tree is going to grow and grow and grow and grow. All right, how about that love life, though? In, lo in your love life, you're being flexible and flowing. You're releasing the past and forgiving everyone from your past. Beautiful. That's letting go. And you realize that you deserve the best and you're going to accept the best now. That's why you have new love coming in because you are loving yourself. And because you're loving yourself, the universe is sending you more love. I love it. It's beautiful. And then, um, how about surprises today, Spirit? Today, the surprise is going to be that life is going to be simple and easy. The past is over. And my income is constantly increasing. Y'all, this is beautiful. Beautiful. On the bottom of the deck is my healing. You no, know, I am in the process of positive change. Oh, beautiful. I love it. I love it. There's so much beautiful stuff going on in this collective. I'm so proud of us. Beautiful. Beautiful. <clears throat> all right, let's pull a tarot. I'm going to pull all in the upright. Just to see what um, temperance is. Because we're being patient. We're being self-controlled. We're... We're not rushing things. We're making sure that we don't, we're, we're not, we're not making fast moves and making mistakes. We're being meticulous and we're allowing spirit to take the lead in our life. And that's beautiful. Why is 10 points here? May I get good, strong answers. None of this fluffy duffy. No fluffy duffy this morning. There we go. Temperance is here because of the Seven of Cups. When the Seven of Cups shows up in love, it's about indulging your fantasies. And in money, it's about examining your choices carefully. And I think it's about examining your choices carefully in money and love. Because when you have the Seven of Cups, look at the picture, okay? See all those cups? There's a lot of different cups there. And you only have a certain amount of money to spend or a certain amount of time to spend or a certain amount of whatever. And you have to choose carefully what you want to do with your time, your money, your resources when it comes to these cups. And if you look at them, some of them are filled with 
stuff that's temporary and then some of them are filled with things that are, are more permanent. So you have to choose real carefully. You're, you're being careful how you choose your next move, I think. Show me why the Seven of Cups are here. Why are we choosing, Spirit? What are we choosing? That's about emotions, too, as well. The Eight of Cups the Four of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. So what we're choosing is to walk away. We're choosing to, to look carefully at our lives. We're taking an evaluation of the things in our lives that we've been choosing. And we're like, you know, I've been choosing this, but this isn't doing it for me. So I'm going to stop choosing that. We're being real careful about what we do and don't allow in our lives. The song that came through for this reading was Giving You Up by Cameron Marlowe. I'm giving you up just like I did those Marlboro Lights. I'm giving you up the same way I did the Whiskey on Ice. So it's like I am choosing what I want in my life and what I don't need anymore. And... You're walking away from love or, or even a job, possibly, that's just not fulfilling you anymore. You're walking away and you're cutting your losses and conserving what you have until you can find something better. I don't recommend leaving a job until you have a new job. But you're looking at your, your career. You're looking at your love life. You're looking at a lot of areas of life and you're like... Does this house, do I really need this huge house anymore? Like, I have enough room for a whole family and it's just me and my dog. Like, maybe I should think about moving to one of those retirement places down in Florida. You know, you, you, whatever. It could be something like that nature. And then you have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is about being stable, secure, and having love and status. And it's about playing it safe and having a secure job. So you're walking away from anything that's keeping you from having stability. And then they have the Nine of Wands, which is about resolving challenges with your partner. And the worst is over and you have stability ahead. So you done been through something. <clears throat> You done been through something and you're walking away from all of that and you're like, I'm going to resolve all of these negative issues in my life. That's what you're being tempered about. You're tempering your life. You're making your life so that it flows, so that it's flexible and flowing and so that you're not so rigid all the time and constantly worried about everything at every turn. That's beautiful. <clears throat> You're making good decisions and it shows. You've got, you've got everything showing up here. You've got your water here twice. You've got your pinnacles here once. You've got your passion, your wands. The only thing missing is the earth. I'm sorry, not the earth. The air element. There's not a lot of talk. We're not talking to anybody about this. All right, why is the Empress in reverse on the bottom of the deck? Somehow purple flowers are significant. Somebody may have had to wear a corset with a dress. We have dark hair. Alright, the reason why the Empress is on the bottom of the deck is because of the Four of Wands. Happy, comfortable, home, content, success, harmony, and stability. This person's going to have an engagement or a marriage. Whoa. 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 All right, so when it comes to their marriage, their happiness, and their stability, 
They're taking a moment and thinking about it. They're thinking about this situation. And they're deciding, am I happy with this marriage, with this relationship? Am I happy with it? Is it bringing me the fulfillment that I need? Do we have enough playfulness in our relationship? Or, or do we have enough honesty? And then the Eight of Wands, it's like there's, there's about to be a sudden affair, a sudden love affair, a fast, passionate movement, a split-second decision about money. So there's a relationship here that you haven't been able to make a decision about, and you've been thinking about how how fulfilling you are by how fulfilled you are by it, and you're about to finally make a move. Clarify the age of one. Oh. Mm -mm 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 <laughs> all right so with the sudden movement that's about to happen remember this person was thinking about their relationship they're up here they're already thinking about walking away they're trying to figure out how can i walk away and have my stability and protect myself protect what's mine all right <clears throat> so they're thinking about their relationship they haven't been able to make a decision. There may even be a child involved. And they're about, to, they're about to communicate to somebody how they feel about this. And how they feel is like they're content without a partner. And they want to acquire their own. They want to have things for themselves. Like they don't want to be dependent on others. Somebody has a black and white cat or dog, blue and black butterflies. There's a blue bird here. Somebody has a beautiful red dress. Somebody eats lifesavers. So yeah, the way they feel about this is they want to have their independence. They want to be free from this relationship. And somebody has a big ego when it comes to seeing the other person's side of things. And you're going to have to hold your ground when it comes to your finances. This person's going to fight you about finances. They're going to withdraw their affection and their security when it comes to money. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, so what we have here is we have somebody who wants out of a relationship. But the person doesn't want to let them out, and so they're going to use the money to hold them there. But you're coming full circle. You might be about to travel. There's there's a, a relationship that's going to be fulfilling. I don't think this relationship is going to be fulfilling. And I think that you are about to put the Queen of Swords down. If the Queen of Swords is smart. She's independent. She's usually divorced or separate or single. She doesn't fall in love easily. And she has a sword she's not afraid to use. And she will cut you. <laughs> when it comes to money, she's an educated powerhouse. <laughs> so, this person is probably the one that's making most of the money. So, where's the other person at, Spirit? Where, what's going on with the other person here? God, that's a lot of cards. Mm. 
Alright. Everything came out in reverse except for one card. The only card that came out in the upright was the full. A new love or deepening of a relationship. They have a cute little dog. A new job or a wise <coughs> investment. So somebody has had, somebody's in a wheelchair. Somebody's had a lot of sleepless nights. They have felt rejected. They felt lonely. They felt undervalued. They regret and have anxiety about money. There's a lot of strain and stress in this relationship about money. And for some reason, they feel like a fool here. They feel like they took a risk and it didn't pay off. And then on the rest of these cards that are in regards are the Two of Wands. So it's like, I'm trying to, to decide what I should do. Like, I'm at a crossroads here with this. I don't know whether I should try and make this relationship work or is it time to let it go. And right now I'm feeling helpless and hopeless and imprisoned and like, my circumstances are so stressed out that I can't see. There's fear. I'm so afraid that this, that I'm not, I don't, I don't know what will happen if I allow this change. Here comes the Knight of Wands in the star. I think this person, just from what I'm seeing here, is going to come back in and once more try to get this relationship to work. I think this person's going to come back at you again to try and get this to work because they do know that you're a special person. Why didn't it work to begin with, Spear? Why did they break it off to begin with? Like, what was the thing that was causing Spear to get rid of the deck? The Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck in reverse. Yeah, this is about to end. <coughs> Talk to me, Spirit, about what happened in this relationship. You first. You first. I'm not making a move. You know where to find me. So somebody was like, you first. I'm not moving. What do you mean, you first? I'm not moving. Why would they need to move? Because it's your choice. You have regret. You're taking it slow. You're making moves in silence. You're on the verge of something. And you're having an epiphany. So this happened because... One of you had to make a decision of whether or not this relationship is is going to make it a, like, okay, for instance, when I was married and my husband and I were not getting along, he would always throw in my face. This is my MF and property. I had this before I ever met you. This is my house, even though it was our house. And we had built everything there together. Yes, he had the property before I met him, but we were together for 21 years, and he would still say that up till, you know, a few months before his death. I mean, he was like, this is my house. This is my property, and I don't care what I'm doing or not doing. I'm not leaving. And when we went to treatment, we promised each other in treatment. We, we wrote out, you know, promises to one another that if one or the other relapsed that the one who relapsed had to be the one to leave so that the other person wouldn't have to be punished for the other person's mistake well when it came right down to it if he was like I'm not going no damn where I don't care what I said I didn't 
I, I had, you know, I was one of those, like, I had my fingers crossed behind my back type deal. Like, you, you should have already known I was lying. And I, of course, did know that he was lying. <laughs> so, it's like, you first. I'm not making a move. And you know where to find me. If you need me, you know where to find me. I'm not moving. So it's like you're in this situation with somebody where they're not going to move. So you have to be the one to move if somebody's going to move. And you're realizing that. And you're on the verge of telling somebody something. We're going to find out more about that in a minute. But somebody is... It, it, it was their choice to do something. And now they regret it. And they're taking things slow, but they're making moves in silence. I think you are saving money without them knowing about it. So you can have an exit strategy. And it's your choice to do this. But why do you regret it? Why do you regret something being your choice? Don't lose hope. Somebody's hard to read. And it has something to do with a friend, a, a friend that supports you. So, you made a choice that you regret. Spirit says, don't lose hope. Somebody's hard to read when it comes to showing support. As a, as a friend. So maybe you made a choice to leave your marriage for this friend. And now this friend is the one who's like. I don't know why you, moved, why you left your marriage. Um, I don't, I'm not interested in you. Somebody's on the verge of something. What are they on the verge of, Spirit? What are they wanting to confess? That they're, they've been pretending. Pretending what? That they've moved on. They're pretending like they've moved on. Well, what? What? Is it, what? What do you mean they're pretending like they moved on? They're jealous. They're worried when it comes to a friendship and you need to trust your intuition. <coughs> so you were with somebody and you made the choice to leave them. You're taking it slow, but you made the choice to leave them. To make moves in silence. To leave uh, your spouse or so whoever because of a friend that shows you support. And you feel like maybe this was a mistake, but Spirit's saying don't, don't feel like that because they are on the verge of telling you, I've been pretending like I've moved on. I've actually been very jealous, worried about this friendship. Hmm. And long wait in, in the wrong deck. Long wait in the wrong deck and divorce under that. So, how do they feel about this friend now? Let's, let's see what they would say. Let's see what everybody would say. What would this person in this reading who has been pretending that like they've moved on, who's jealous and worried, what would they say? They would say, you're a fucking asshole. I'm in a relationship, but I'm feeling you. I can't love you the way I want. And you have me confused with somebody else. See, they're pretending like they've moved on. Alright. 
what would this person over here say that's not willing to budge? I wish I would have talked to you when I had the opportunity. And I can't stand you. You drive me crazy. What the fuck did I get myself into? And what would this friend over here say that's showing support? I love the way you love me. I love all of you. Booty call, don't judge, just come over. And what am I going to do with you, seriously? So it looks like this person and this person are married. And this one, what would the other person say to this one about the booty call? They would say, I don't even like to text, but I would text you all day long. And I act like I don't care what I do. And call me, call me, call me, delete, 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 lol, you're driving me crazy. So they even act like they don't care about this person, but they do. Remember it said that they were pretending? They're on the verge of telling you that they are pretending like they've moved on. They ain't moved on. Alright, so we see we have a mess here. We see we have a three people mess here. And things were looking so positive, though. Like, oh, show me how this happened. May I see how this happened? They're still waiting and check yourself. Somebody who has been waiting a while, remember a long wait? You check yourself, you're playing with fire. All right, what's being hidden? You're playing with fire and keeping this person waiting. That you're fucking stressed. That you care too much. That there's family shit getting on your nerves. Do you really love them? Do the damn dishes. Send a picture. And just say those five little words. Alright, sorry for the interruption. So they're hiding a lot of shit. What... This the reason this happened is because they kept somebody waiting, and then they had to check themselves. They were playing with fire, keeping that person waiting. I don't know. Maybe they're unrelated. But what they're hiding is that they're stressed. They're giving too many fucks. Family shit's getting on their nerves. They're having to ask themselves, "Do I really love this person?" They're having to do the damn dishes. They're sending pictures, and then they're just saying those five little words, whatever that they might be, all right? And what's being shown? That's what's being hidden. What's being shown is it's not that serious that your boundaries are trash and stop trying to control every damn thing, all right? And what's going to happen next? <laughs> Fill in the blank. <laughs> Fill in the blank, Spirit says. Oh, Lord. And forgive. Oh, wow. I don't know what fill in the blank is, but it's just, God, forgive. Might be a divorce. I did not know. I did not know. <laughs> this is such a complicated reading. All right, show me a little bit more about how this happens, Spirit. <clears throat> Somebody was trusting in divine timing, but they were dealing with a player. There was a lot of doubt. You had a lot of doubt about this situation, but this was wish fulfillment. You were you were waiting on a player. There was too much lack and doubt. And you wanted your wishes to come true with this player, but there was too much lack and doubt. All right, well, what's being hidden here? That somebody is open to receive a third party. <laughs> what's being shown? that somebody loves their self. So secretly, somebody's like, yeah, I don't have a problem with third parties. I'll screw around on my person. I don't care about third parties. Because they're a player. They're a player. 
All right, well, what's going to happen next? Some deception, some control tactics when it comes to passion and chemistry. And this is going to cause some rejection. <laughs> so... What's going to happen with the self-love over here? Because that's not the same person. They're going to make a decision about nurturing and compassion. What are they going to decide that they want to change? They don't want to be this way anymore. They've been spying since the spring. What do they see when they spy? That somebody's stable, that they are not going to force this, that they have fears and limitations, and that somebody is cold and detached. That's what they're seeing, and they that that they're they're not they're over this. They want to love their self, but this other person is can they are conniving, they are deceptive, they are manipulative. And all they care about is that sex. And they don't mind having third parties. But this person right here, uh -uh. they want this bad, but they're not willing to share this person with anybody else. And they're not willing to go through all this hell. That's why they're having to let this go. They're having to walk away from something that's not serving them anymore. They're having to be very tempered. They're having to control themselves when everything inside of them is screaming, I want this person. Look, their higher self is here. Anything else we need to know, Spirit? Spirit says there's going to be a spark that's going to cause somebody to have the courage to take action on a new beginning. Jupiter is here. Clarify this spark that's going to cause them to take action. It's going to cause, it's, it's, it's the air, the ace of swords. Finally, somebody's going to talk. Oh, my God. <coughs> the reason, whoa, card in the wrong deck alert. Two cards in the wrong deck alert. Okay, well, hold on to those for a minute. What's going to happen, the spark, is somebody's going to speak the truth about the past and how much they got hurt and suffered. Because of being in their comfort zone and how they realize that now because they're active, their higher self has been activated. So now they're thinking like an adult. That's what's going to happen. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's also a commitment to a new love. So this, this communication that's coming in is going to lead to, a, to communication with a new love and to family, home, and commitment. Okay, then. This is a shocking turn of events. All right, where's Divine Masculine here? Because I sense that they are here. Divine Masculine, here's your pride and ego, honey. And this temperance, patience. <laughs> All right, where's Divine Feminine? Divine Feminine is communicating. What's connecting the two of them? They're being guided to recognize this deception and being bound by a karmic partner and needing to surrender. And what might be the outcome in the next two weeks? Somebody's going to be abandoned and be by themselves. Somebody's going to be abandoned and be in solitude. The 5D is involved. Why is the 5D involved? What are they up to? The 5D is all, oh my God. The 5D is causing somebody to make an offer that will be received. Somebody's got, the 5D has them thinking about making an offer to somebody else. What might be the outcome of the offer? 
here it says some they have free will so right now the all, the only thing i can say is they won't be stuck because they have free will and look it's divine masculine in reverse on the bottom of the deck so this divine masculine is going to, the 5d is encouraging them to make an offer to this divine feminine so they won't be stuck anymore but they have free will, and nobody's going to make them do something against their own free will. It's just not the way it works. All right, let's pull one of these, and we're going to get out of here. All right, may I have one card, please? Apparently, all the time, giving me a bunch. <laughs> Angel of Truth. Daring dreamer. Let's see what spirit is saying here. Spirit is saying something. All right, freaking beautiful, freaking beautiful. I'm just gonna tell you, it is about marching to the beat of your own drum, not worrying about what other people think. We we're beautiful when we are our authentic self. When we act like our own authentic self and stop trying to pretend to be something that we're not. You are here to march to your own beat. You can be happy and free whether the world looks at you with awe, admiration, confusion, love, or all of these at once. Others can love you even if they can't always understand you. Being different doesn't have to mean being alone. It's only when we change ourselves to fit into a stereotype that we will lose our way and become unhappy, discovering obstacles and feeling increasingly rejected or defeated discovering obstacles and feeling increasingly rejected or defeated the universe doesn't want you to be someone else it wants you to be you when you quit trying to fit in and enjoy being yourself you win lioness number 26 <coughs> lioness your ability to love yourself and be empowered is maturing. You are learning that the real beauty and value of, of you comes from within. You are learning to rise above emotional game playing with honesty. You can enjoy your attractiveness as a person without allowing it to control your life or your sense of self-worth. If others try to control you through the, their opinions about you, or in any other way, you will be strong enough to recognize this is their problem and has nothing to do with you. Others will be attracted to your true beauty and appreciate your lovingness, your loveliness and enjoy how you help them to feel good about themselves also. And then number three, Gypsy. You are encouraged to say yes to new opportunities and adventures and connections, especially those that fill your heart with a sense of excitement, perhaps just before your mind begins to dwell on doubts and concerns, trying to, to talk you out of something before you even give it a chance. You can handle the unfamiliar better than most. Once you get your bearings, you'll find a way to thrive, to enjoy what you discover and experience. Like the yearning of your, I'm sorry, let the yearning of your soul to explore the new and exciting inspire you. The unfamiliar and unknown have great blessings in store. Open up to new, to new horizons. And then number 20, Gypsy. Number 20, Daring Dreamer. You don't need to adjust your dreams to 
fit in with what others say is realistic, sensible, or practical. Why seek to limit the power of the universe with negative expectation by a com by I'm so sorry. I have a I have a hard time reading whenever it's important. Please spirit help me. Why seek to limit the power of the universe with negative expectations? Be uncompromisingly be uncompromising with your heart wisdom. Listen to what it wants and yearns for and listen listen to what it wants and yearns for and believe that the universe has put those desires there and will show you every step to take to fulfill the, those dreams. Do not allow someone else to make you feel like you should change who you are or what your, your heart truly yearns for, not even for a tiny bit, not even for a second. <clears throat> Our world needs daring dreamers to redefine beauty, success, and worth. We need brave souls to shake up the cultural values so that we stop hurting ourselves and each other. You can decide what is really what it really means to you to be beautiful, successful, and worthy. Those That's how you take back control, disempowering the toxic definitions created by, by others. To, to live your life according to expectations set by others who do not know or care about who or, I'm sorry, who to live your life according to expectations set by others who do not know or care about you, who are not wise and are not out for their own, and who are out for their own gain. I mean, a recipe for happiness or fulfillment. You are a daring dreamer and loving, rebellious visionary. Yes, you imagine a far kinder and more truly beautiful world. You have the awareness and the proper and the power to say no to what is unkind, untrue, and unwise. You get to invite into your life that which actually has value to your soul. Be your divine badass self as you say hello world. You can choose what you wish, but who who but you will not choose for me. <laughs> I cannot read. I cannot read. I can't see anymore. You get to invite into your world what actually has value to your soul. Be your divine badass self as you say hello world. You can choose what you wish, but you will not choose for me. I will choose for myself, thank you very much. Give a voice to your daring dreams. Tell the universe each day about your vision of a, he a healed world. Speak it as though it were already real. Use your positive words of power to express your most beautiful dreams and never give up on those dreams, yourself or the world. Your vision of what is possible is the healing medicine for this future world and the way to be blessed. To yeah, to and the way to be to our bliss. God help me, I need new glasses. Gaze at the sky and say aloud. From my heart and from my new, from my own free will, I invite the universe to bring to life those dreams of mine and state that what state whatever your dreams are for a beautiful life and a loving world. So let the universe know what you want to see happen in the world, and then watch it happen. I'm I'm sorry, I need glasses, and I'm gonna try and get me some new glasses. All right, angels, how are you helping here? Oh, wow.
awakening. Freedom. Vibration. You're giving this person the thoughts that they need. You're giving them communication and harmony. You're also giving them power. I love it. Power. Alright, I'm going to close. Alright, I have <clears throat> Dream, Hope, Trust, Love. I have the number and the astrology dice. I have Made with Love. I have a star. I have Jesus. I have an angel. A butterfly. A heart with an arrow to it that says love. A Taj Mahal. A horse. Always in my heart and a leaf for the fall. And now I'll give you some numbers. Two. One. Two. Four. Twelve. Three. Two. Three, one. Okay, Collective, thank you for your patience with me as I'm unable to see with these glasses anymore. I hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.